Hi everybody, Chris here in the craft cabin and today we are going to learn how to make a super simple crochet flower. So what you're going to need is some yarn, whatever weight you want. I have some double knit here and a four millimeter crochet hook, scissors and a yarn needle. So to start, we are going to do a magic circle. Now anyone isn't, who isn't familiar with that, what you do is you get your yarn and like you normally start, you take your left and flip it around like that. So that your, this, the long piece is coming up and around and then back down and behind. We leave it like that. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller and you're going to hold on to this piece here as you crochet. Your long tail goes through your fingers however you usually do it. So we are going to put our yarn, hook through our yarn and grab it there and pull it back. So now I'm going to move my fingers up and I'm going to hold this piece here like that and we're going to start with 10 chain. Three, four, five. Now, as you go, you'll probably have to let go uh, of your loop here. So just remember the double strand is on your left and should always stay on your left and the single strand is on your right. And what we're going to do here is do a slip stitch back down into the loop and off. And there we have our first petal. So we do this 10 times. So there's 10 petals. So 10 chain here, one, two, three, four. Oops. Ten. And again, I had to let go, I'm coming back down. My double strand is on the left and my single strand on the right. And I'm gonna do a single crochet. Sorry, slip stitch, back down into it. And again. As you go, I just pulled the petals a little bit to one side and it still gives me plenty of room to work with. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten petals. So it's going to be loose and baggy and strange looking and I'm just going to finish that off and cut my yarn, leaving again a little bit of a long tail and a sharper scissors. So there we have it. Now the tail from our magic circle, you can see we have worked our way over it and it's this little short bit here. What we're going to do is still there on our left side, we're going to pull. Yeah. And that closes the circle. They're also great for doing your granny squares if you don't want a hole in the middle and they can be a little bit easier to work into than doing your um, four chain or five chain and joining. It just gives you a little bit more room to breathe. So just neaten out all your, your petals and we're gonna to turn to the back here and I'm just gonna tie my two strands together. You can sew this onto something or you can put a brooch on the back. There we go. 
go and I'm just going to trim my tails. And if you want as well, you can do a chunky flower and it ends up slightly bigger than this one. And you can layer them up and you can add buttons or embellishments or anything into the middle like I've done with this one here. So, let me see, layered up. Very pretty. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and I hope you have fun making these too. Bye.